me where y'all at eight o'clock what happened i'm like yeah me too right the whole time, the whole time we was listening to y'all say day we late uh they late they're not in here but y'all couldn't hear us y'all couldn't see us but we was looking at y'all the whole time so it was just i don't know technical difficulties i guess it's my first time uh actually hosting and doing this i used to just go live from my page but uh we here now so we're gonna live in the moment and uh go with the universe okay. The universe manifested it like this, so I'm ready to get to it though. Uh, it's 248. What kind, of, what kind of number we looking for to start? Uh, at least a thousand. Like, like last night, we was at almost what three thousand, four thousand. At least a thousand. I know it's kind of early for me and my viewers, it's really early, but at the same time, hey, what's today, Saturday, Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 257, man, look, I'm ready to get to it, honestly, you know what I'm yeah. saying? If y'all feel like we should get some more viewers, if everybody agree on w that, you I'm ready to go. Is that you, bro? I'm part of your world right now. Okay, we, we are your time. Uh, you let me all know. Right. All right, cool. All right, I'm ready. Let's get it. Let's just get it. Let's get to it. Let's, let, let's get it. Let's get to the money. All right. All right. To the book. Yeah, we can see it right here, though. We, we better off on IG. Right. Shit, bro. All that. All that. Right. IG would have been smoking. Oh, but then, you know what? Then your, your, your Facebook jumping. I got off Facebook. They knocked me. I had 80,000 people on Facebook. They knocked me off. Right. I got my page deleted. I was like, man, I ain't fuck with Facebook no more. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's take off. Let's All take right. off. One second, one second. Uh, all right. All right, come all the way through. We got standards. We got standards. We need about 1,000 people first. At least 500. Yeah. At least. Yeah, we're, we're going up, though. Everybody everybody coming in the slow. They're coming in the slow. But, yeah, I'm ready. So I think it's the way the screens are set up. is so small on the page. Right. No, they you actually do. The screens up different. Hold on. Let me, let me try it one more time. But if I end up losing y'all, hold on. Here I go. No, you just switch the screens. You just switch the screens at the top. You can choose what settings you want. Oh, okay. That, that, that's a little better. I can't see my queens, but you can't see your queens, and that defeats the purpose, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hold on. Hold on one second. There Just we go. That's way... That, that's it right there. All right. There we go. Let me know when to take off, bro. I mean, no worries. Take time. I'm ready. Yeah, the, the numbers are right. right now. Hey, hey, keep sharing as y'all come through. Y'all know what I'm talking about? We're going to let Stefan introduce us. Go ahead. Yeah, that's it right there. My name is Stefan Bradford. And just like bro said, you know, I have my own platform, just like bro have his own platform. And I'm, I'm grateful for to be on his platform, interviewing TKO Capone and also Nature's Boy. And now you call me Baba T, man. Nature Boy is cool. Oh, no. What you prefer to be called, brother? Baba G. Ball by G, a G, aka Nature Boy. We right here live in effect. Oh, do me like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go. Here we go. Look at her the first question. Now, everyone knows. Every, everyone knows that both of you are part of the poly lifestyle. So, therefore, tell me what does that mean to you all? One by one, let me know what, what does that mean? Living a poly lifestyle. Go ahead and take the floor. Baba G. For me? Yeah. Oh, Please. that's the only way. It's the only way. It's the only way. It's the natural way. Whether we think about it or not, we're doing it. It don't matter. 
You, if you think you monogamous, you are lying. We call it monogamy. You being a nigga. Right. <laughs> With that. Because the only way, the only natural way is that man be polygamous because man is here to spread a seed. Okay. And whether you whether you try to be with one woman and be uh, and love her and care about her and know her as fully as you can, that has nothing to do with your nature. Your nature is to spread your seed. So that's why we got strip clubs. That's why we got trips to Thailand, where you know we got hordes, prostitutes. Prostitute business is, is a clear an indicator that polygamy is the way for man. But he's been lying through monogamy. So. Clearly, it wouldn't be no it wouldn't be no prostitution if polygamy was alive, as we were in Africa, an indigenous land. You feel what I'm saying? So it's an indigenous way. That's it. Right. So before you before you say some, uh, Mr. TKO, let me address that. So you saying that pretty much a man cannot pretty much a man cannot sow seeds with just one woman. A man cannot Absolutely. be happy with one woman. No. He limited himself. Ah, okay. Because let me ask you something. Have, how many women have you had sex into your life, brother? Uh, I really don't know, bro, to be honest. One woman? One woman? No, uh-uh. Uh-huh. And how many women do you do you still get, get turned on by? It, it, the, the, the woman that you fall in love with is the woman that you're going to get turned and, on and by. And you can fall in love with a woman that ain't got nothing to do with what you get turned on by. The woman that I fall in love with. <laughs> Boy, you don't want to get in trouble. Go ahead. No, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it honest. I'm keeping it up. Next question. Next I'm keeping question. it up. No, no, no. That, it, it don't work like that. It, it works like you that. Bro. TV, you, you, you can say whatever you want for the TV, but the truth is, you want another woman. Whether you are com in a commitment where you gave your word and you are being disciplined in that state, that's not your nature. You can discipline yourself to do that as well. That's cool. Okay. Because you made a commitment and that was your word. And that's your bond. But at the end of the day, that's not your nature. That's just your bond. Okay. Well, you know what? We can agree to disagree. Jeez. Now, Mr. TKO Capone, yes, what does polygamy means to you? Um, well, I always start off with, you know, this going back to the ancient times. You know, mm -hmm. it was like that in the ancient times, you know. Uh, but due to being Americanized, I think that we um, we lose a sense of self, a, a sense of uh, of way. But I'm also big on saying, just because I tapped into that, and I feel like I'm in my natural habitat. It might not be for everybody, because some men can't even handle one female, less long have multiple women. So at the end of the day, this is not for everybody. When you know yourself, you know that you're, you know, a, a true king, a god, um, not the capital God G O D, uh, but a, a part of God with a lowercase g, but you know what you are, your value as a man. Uh, I feel like certain, like me, I just feel like I'm operating in my natural habitat. I'm not going to uh, sound, try to go into too much detail of trying to sound intellectual about it. I'm just going to put it up to like that. I feel, I feel like I'm in my natural habitat. Well, to pick it back off both of, uh, both of you and also, you know, with Mr. Nature Boy here and you, Yes, Baba G. You know, IG. Baba G. Baba G. For me, I have been in a situation that, you know, like you said, at that point in my life that you prefer multiple women. I've been there, done that. But then it comes a point in your life that you, you, you just want to settle down with one woman. Because, like Mr. TKO said, hey, some men can't handle multiple women. <laughs> That's just facts. That's because they are men. Yep. That's because they're not a man. That's because they're not at not all not all males are men. It's a difference. Yeah. It's male, yeah. but that don't make you a man. You could be that a man and be a hoe. That that is true. But so a man you can't do say not, not uh, all men. A man, a man knows how to handle a woman because he knows how to handle himself. Any man a man knows how to handle himself. So a man gonna know how to handle a woman, multiple women, multiple people. He can have so, a multi-million business. A man knows how to fuck. If a man can run Facebook, if a man can run Netflix, if a man can run a multi-million million dollar business, then he can have a polygamous relationship. What are we talking about here? A weak nigga? Come on. Well, I, 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 I,
Mm. Meaning that a man can be off in a single a, a single household too, raising his kids as well. It can be as labored as a man, a strong man as yeah. well. Than a Dang man with man. multiple women. That's a but, domesticated dog. It's, it's uh, just like this. You don't call a wolf a dog, do you? You call a wolf a wolf. You call a dog something that's domesticated from a wolf. See, it's a difference. You could be an American male. You could just be a male. You feel me? You could be Americanized robot. Or you could be you could be a man. You see what I'm saying? A man is going to have multiple women because he ain't going to lie to himself. A man real with his own soul. And I don't care if you you married a woman and you gave a commitment, then you don't know who you are. But the long, more you get to know who you are as a man, then you're going to conform to what's okay. righteous in your own soul and what's well, I, right within your own being, and you're not going to be lying. Well, I'll tell you what. And then a lot of, and then a lot of times, because y'all ain't eating right because of the American diet, your hormones is off, and by the time you get damn near 40, 30, your dick turn off, and you can't fuck like you used to, so that's why you become impotent, and you can't please a couple women. You, 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 your manhood is gone by the time you're 40 because how we eat in America. Well, you know what? I agree with you a part of, uh, on the part about eating. But what you just said in the beginning, I want you to hold that thought and I want you to stick it in your pocket because I promise you I'll be back to revisit that. All right. Now, let me just question. Before we get started, okay. let me please interject. Um, we got to understand the reason why I actually chose to do this interview today is to show different perspectives. Just because I have a perspective of it doesn't mean that it may be a truth for everyone. My truth right. is my truth for myself. This is my truth. This is uh, Baba G's truth. What your truth is, it may be different. So at the end of the day, we got to keep that in mind because just like somebody can read the Bible, the Quran, or whatever religion, they can read the book and have six, seven different perspectives or even thousands. Very true. So we got to understand that everybody don't think the same way or know the same way. You know, they, they, everybody... All right, let's keep going. Y'all understood me. I don't got to keep oh, going. No, you... Are you trying to get started right now? No, you speaking. A little bit later. Let's get it. Now, from the outside in, you believe in polygamy. You believe in polygamy. Now, everyone from the outside in that's not a part of your platform will say, you both are the same. How would you address that? Well, you know, I'm really big on, I think I said this on your platform before, it's all about intent behind what you're doing. Two people can do the same thing, have the same action, but the intent can be very different. Now, I'm not saying his intent is different. I don't know his intent. You see what I'm saying? But two people can have the same action, the same, <laughs> the same makeup, and have a very different intent. So let me give an example of this. I can be rolling down the street with my woman and see an old lady trying to get across the street, and I can hop out my car and say, hey, let me go help this woman across the street. Okay? That's the, that's, that's, that's the intent with pure intentions of me just let me go help this woman. But then another person with different intentions can say, you know what? Let me impress the girl that I'm with. So let me go help this woman because I'm trying to impress this girl. So he had different intentions for doing it. Was it, was it pure intent? Was it for selfish ambition and self-glorifying? Or was you doing this because you, feel like, you truly believe God put you in a position to be a light, to, to elevate the minds of people, to, to develop people? You know, so it's all about intent. Okay. Baba well, well, IG, what you have to say about that? Um, I, like, with me, I can't talk for him. Okay. I can only talk for me. My intention is to wake the black woman up to her full divine self and wake the black man and African American people up. And in doing that, waking up humanity to what is natural. I, I tend to lead by example. I was, um, I was in the world... I left the world. I, I, I dedicated my life to a spiritual path. And my my only intention is to wake women up to who they truly are naturally. My, my intention is to wake the African-American people up. I am the Messiah of the African-American people. I've come here to wake them up to the to knowledge of self. That is the only way to get them out of a hell state. You are living in hell. You were born in iniquity. You are living in hell. And what hell is, what I, what I know of what hell is, is when you're disconnected from what is. So as my job is to make us perfect, 
make us perfect is by making us in tune with nature because nature is is god is what is and the more natural we become the more in tune we become with the universe we can get the Is he just cut off it's the lines? They're cut. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. No, no, yeah, cut off for a little bit over here. I didn't know if he cut off one. No, it was his internet. It was his internet connection. But oh, he's okay. okay. Well, my intention with the woman here is to elevate their mind so that they can reflect with everything that I am and teach other black women who they are. So that's what my intention with, with polygamy is. Um, more than having a whole bunch of kids. I want every black, I want as much black woman as I can to be saved in their soul to get out of hell. That hell mentality and state of mind. You understand? That's what my intent is to do with it. But when you see me with a whole bunch of queens to get my message out, my message is knowledge of self. I am God. We are God. You are God. And teach you that through the five sciences, which is biology, astrology, quantum physics, melanin, and grounding. That's what my, 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 um, my objective is. You feel what I'm saying? Through polygamy. I was already in my lower self. Well, I had all the women, you know what I'm saying? Like for me, mm -hmm. I had all the women and my lower self. So I, the, the universe allowed me to fuck every kind of woman, every sign, three, four, five times. So I got over the fact that pussy can rule me. So pussy don't rule me like that. So at the end of the day, what I'm doing with these women is actually spiritual, trying to show the world what they really are. I want black men to know they don't need to lie to women. Stop lying. Know who you really are. Grab your nuts and be a man. Don't be afraid. You feel me? Because a lot of times you make commitments, you got children, but it's still your nature and, and you're not going to be able to get out of here. I know we live our life every single day, but you're not going to be able to leave this earth plane. You are not going to enter heaven unless you are one with what is, which is nature. You are in hell and you don't even know it. Okay. You're but burning what if, in hell and you do not even know it. Go ahead. But what if someone said to you, uh, me me being a part of a cult because some people call it a cult they just call it what it is what people call it so we're just gonna go off what people say that that's that's not my blackness uh, if that is my blackness i prefer not to even choose that side of my blackness what would you say to that i would say i am a cult i would say uh hip-hop is a cult i would okay. say the united states of america is a cult mcdonald's is a cult Anytime a group of people come together in an organization and have an organization having to believe on one thing is a cult. So we need to get around, we need to get rid of that word cult and understand what that means. You feel me? And what kind of cult are you on right now? You in a culture right now called basketball, the NBA. You was in a cult. You had to you had to sign a contract. You had to do what they tell you to do, play when they tell you to play. You was in a cult. You understand what I'm saying? So uh whatever your team was, that was the cult. That was the tribe you was in within the cult. So you was in the cult. So you got to understand what a cult is. You got so, what you need to be asking is like, what does the cult stand for? Because the word cult is used to uh, demonize a people and to ostracize them so that you won't even look and understand. But only, but only, only surface dwellers are the ones that look outside and call us uh, 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 a cult. But guess what? The surface dweller will never find God because God is hidden. And you have okay. to search deep into your psyche and into and to knowledge and stuff into occult information to even understand what I'm saying. Okay. Now, before we move on to the next question, a viewer would say, "Okay, you say that pussy is it isn't power to you no more. You do not pretty much fall weak to pussy anymore." But someone would say, okay, if you don't fall weak to pussy anymore and pussy don't control you anymore, then why you got to surround yourself by multiple pussies? You know? Because cause, cause what that means is I control pussy. That means okay. the pussy don't control me. See, the pussy control you. That's why you only got one woman. If you control, if you control pussy, pussy would be around you because you could do whatever you want with it. But guess what? If you divorce that woman, she taking half your check, so she controlling you. If you divorce that woman and do what you really want to do, she's taking half your check, she's taking your kids, they half your house, everything. So your that pussy controlling you. But this pussy ain't controlling me. I control the pussy because I'm a king. I'm a god, well, as the black man is. And that's well, what you bro, really are. I want you to see it. I want you to know it. Well, bro, my situation, my situation ain't like that. So I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the demographic of what you represent. Exactly. 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 Dilly noted. All right. Now let's move on. Now let's get inside of your life. Let's get inside the, the actual man. Now, 
people will look at your life and say, it has to be something that happened in their life that's traumatic to have them do a 360 the way they have done over time. So people would say, you know what, something happened to you as a child. This is the reason why you react the way you react. And this is the reason why you choose the lifestyle that you have chosen. What would you say? Uh, what I would CKO, say... CKO, go ahead, man. Yeah. yeah. What I would say is, uh, yes, something did happen. You know, I woke up and I started to learn my true self. You know, uh, I elevated mentally and spiritually and I, came, uh, and I changed my religiosity. I grew up uh, following doctrines. I grew up being programmed to live my life the way that society wants me to live my life. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? So as I grew, um, I just grew a deeper understanding, overstanding, you know, uh, of what I feel like is my purpose and my personal truth. So, yes, something did happen to me. I grew, I grew more wiser. As a man. I understand what a man is. I understand who I am. I understand who God is and my connection to God. So yes, understandable. Uh, Baba G, what would you say about that? <laughs> hold, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, nah, I would say I'm a broken person. I'm a broken man. I'm a broken human being. I, I went through 400 years of slavery. I'm, we crabs in a barrel. We all fucked up psychologically. Ain't nobody. Ain't not not one of us perfect. We're trying to be perfect. We attempt to be perfect, and we can only do that okay. to knowledge itself. What you're looking at is a broken person, just like you. You broken. You just found a European, um, not you personally, I'm talking to demographic. Every yes. one of us black African-American people have come from a broken background, period. We've come from broken homes. We all fucked up. Everybody fucked up. And we trying to get right. And we trying shit. We trying this. We trying that. We trying what you doing. We trying what he doing. We trying what I'm doing. But nigga, we trying. <laughs> that's all that matters. We trying. And we going to get there because we trying. And that's what okay. I would say about that. What if someone told you when you said, Okay, 400 years of slavery. We have suffered 400 years of slavery. What if someone told you right now that, bro, you wasn't enslaved? It was our ancestors. I tell them they're a damn lie. I tell them a damn lie. I could tell them, though, look at my last name. My last name is Bishop. Let's go down the Bishop chain line and do a real <laughs> research of who the fuck Bishop is. It's going to go to a slave master. Hmm. And even if you wasn't a part of slaves, somewhere down the line you was. We niggas. And we need to, first of all, if you a crackhead and you're trying to recover from a crackhead, the first thing you need to say is what? I'm a crackhead and I'm recovering. The first step to, to healing is that we say, I'm a nigga. I've, I've, been, I've been fucked up 400 years. I'm a descendant of some shit and some deep-rooted shit that need to be healed within me psychologically. And I need to do the work and I need answers about who I truly am. And until I find the core of what I am, can I truly identify myself or who I am? And what you're looking at before you is a man that has found who he truly is. And it doesn't look familiar because the black man is not interested in who he truly is. He's interested in the bag. He's interested in surviving. That's what he's interested in. So, you know, it's rare. Real is rare. Faith is everywhere. Okay. Well, so let me add to that. Um, what I would say is uh, enslavement is a mindset. You know, yes, circumstances, we had physical chains on us. But today, due to the things that happened with our ancestors, we have to be careful that we're not carrying on the slave mentality. See, there's so many niggas to come from. Niggas. We grow, we grow as niggas. I come from a I grew up in poverty. I didn't have a father, but I didn't allow my parents to stay away. The, the first part where I became and had freedom was when I went to prison. I know people don't understand that. When I was out on the street with my physical freedom, I was already locked up in the slave. So we have to start there. That's where we become enslaved at. And if you know who you are, if you have the knowledge of self, then a white man can enslave you, period. I won't give that much power to a white man. Period. Nah. Baba RG, what if someone yeah. told what if someone said, you know what, brother, I hear what you're saying, but I don't I don't 
refer to myself as a nigga because nigga only do nigga shit just like monkey shit. I am a black man, a respectful black man, so I stand on my own. I am a black woman, a respectful black woman, so I should identify with self, with values and dignity. Don't call me a nigga because a nigga is below me, is beneath me. How would you say? What would you what would you take from that? Because you say we all niggas. I would say you should listen to the song on Jay-Z album 444, the story of OJ. You still nigga. You got a billion dollars, you still a nigga. Why? Because the black man doesn't know who he truly is. His thought of success is what? Live like a European through the eyes of a European. Long as you feeding your kids, you got a nice house, you think you you think you successful. That ain't success, brother. Cause you you didn't come here just to succeed in the eyes of your of the of your master and be like your master. You become a house nigga. I'm sorry. You no longer a field nigga. You a house nigga. Still nigga. Because you still running that for a month motherfucking check. You don't know who you really are indigenously. You don't know what your spirituality is. You still a nigga. And that's how they look at you. So let's first of all have a clear understanding and view of what we truly are. Rather than act like we not something that we are, that they say we are, because we trying to impress them anyway. We trying to be like them. We wear they wear they clothing like we we flaunt they shit. We want to our 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 uh height of success as an African American community is to be like the white man. Drive his car. We want our woman to look like him. She got to be foreign. How our woman our, our cars have to be foreign. Got to be European. We want everything European, cut, Fendi, Gucci, Prada. We want everything European. That's our epitome of success. We're trying to be house niggas. We want to be just like Massa. Okay. Now. Okay. So I'm going to tell you just like this. If, if someone to say that to me, I'm going to sell them you a nigga. And I want you to know it because that's what the cracker going to say when behind your back. I want you to know the real deal. You a nigga. And that's all you ever going to be until you know you a God. And you start acting as a God and stop Given they trends, energy. You have to understand. We have to become original, back to original. Stop giving power to Fendi and Prada and Gucci and fuck all that and give pride and give pride to your soul and your melanin. You you know melanin is worth more than gold. And melanin is in your hair, but people will die they hair, not knowing their own value, and put that dye in their hair and strip it and put a whole bunch of gold on their neck. But the thing is, melanin right now, if you look at it online, look it up, it's worth 300 maybe $450 per gram. And it's melanin in your hair through melanocytes, but you will dye your hair and put gold on your neck because you don't know who you are. Okay. Okay. I hear you. I, I truly hear you, brother. Before we go on to the next question, you said, you know, every black man, every black woman, is trying to impress massa quote unquote they, they want to be each other trying to press each other trying to say look i'm more like massa than you are look okay. at me i got massa money i got massa car i got massa clothes look at me i'm better than you i got you ain't got this european bag i'm i'm one with massa look i'm like massa you not like this i'm like massa you not and i'm better than you because i'm more like massa you are because i'm more house nigga than you are and we need to get up out of that because we still okay. niggas. Okay, at the end of the day, if you got a black man and a black woman that living their life for their life, and actually, in this world, just to succeed because of their family, their kids, their mother, their brother, their sisters, that they don't care about what white people think about them. They don't care about what black people think about them. The only thing they care about is their loved ones within that home and their loved ones that share the same blood that they share are the people outside of their loved ones that actually love them for them. So they are actually living their life for, for them. They ain't living their life for white people. They ain't living their life for nothing. So if a, if a black man or a white woman wants something good in life, why does that have to be massive? If a black man say, you know what, or a white woman say, I mean, a black, a white, a, a, a black woman say, you know what, I want to go and build me a good home. Or I want to drive a nice car. What master have to do with that? That's just a black man and a black woman that want the finer things in life because they have come from the bottom. So why? What makes it the finer things in life? 
what makes the finer things in life just like what gives things value is people the people you, that the people that gave Fendi Prada value is white people we're trying to follow after white people we don't we have our own values this is why people in Africa don't have army because we don't value the same things African people melanated people we don't do the same things this is why it took them so much to even get us to work they had to beat us to work because we don't value the same things that they value but now they done beat us into valuing the same thing that they value. You have to understand you're just surviving when you say something like, well, I want a nice car and I just want a nice home. I want to stay out of mass away. But that ain't reality, brother. Reality is that you're just trying to stay out of trouble, out of mass away. You ain't here to bring change. You just here to go along with things. Well, my reality, and I'm pretty sure a lot of a lot of black men and a lot of black women, reality is. No, I just want to be happy with the people that love me. We don't give a fuck about Massa. We don't care that's what cool. the outside that's world cool. say. That's, that's called that. cool. That's called blackness cool. is a state don't of mind. Nothing. Don't be too loud. Just like being enslaved is a state be of mind. Be some good white folks. Be quiet. The Massa been good to me. He give me eats. He give me sleep. Please be quiet. All I want to do is just feed my family and be quiet. Please just be quiet. We got a good home, we got a good car, okay. we got everything we need. Before we move on to the next question, TK, before we move on to the next question, before we move on to Okay, like, so you sound like Michael Jordan, you sound okay. like all the wiggers. Listen, you sound so, like all the black people that sell out, that have power, that don't listen, they, they sell out. I, they don't, I have they a question have power, for you, brother. But they don't nothing with it. I have a question for you. What are your line of work? What is your line of work? My line of work is to wake you up. Okay. But you, them bills got to be paid, correct? Them bills you, pay themselves because I'm a god. Okay, but... I'm the black man. Let me tell you something who you are, God. I'm going to tell you who you are, God. You bring value to the, to the NBA. Without you, the NBA wouldn't be shit. See, you don't know your power. It ain't funny that got the power. It's what the people value that got power. And you are behind the money. Money ain't nothing but a piece of paper. What values it is what people like. They like you. You, God. Uh, you make NBA valuable. In the and you right about that. Let me, let me speak. You ain't, without you, the NBA wouldn't be nothing. You let me speak right about that. I feel like we stand on one subject. So let's let 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 let's get to it. You know. Uh, but let me say this. You know, uh, we can sound beautifully. You know, whether it's me, whether it's him, whether it's you, we can say all these things about uplifting our people, which is beautiful. What you said was beautiful, Babaji. But at the end of the day, but, 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 you know, however, 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 at the end of the day, we can speak on European brands, car, having a nice house, but we're still using the white man's platform. Look, Facebook, social media, you know what? The house, you know what? the house was building, the black football. So let's not create division and separateness. Like, let's just humble ourselves. Continue to put no, the no, 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 that's why perspective is important. I knew this, this, this information. I knew that this this platform would be a beautiful thing. But when we're sitting over here saying, um, you know, and this is my perspective. I'm not doubting you or anything that you're talking about. I'm just giving you from my perspective. Um, but when we're sitting over here talking about, you know, what we're doing, want to have nice things, and we just want to be a house nigga, then every everything that we're using in life, from the utensils that that we that you eat, from from the carpet that you own, was probably made by the white man. So we got to continue to enlighten each other about the truth, the truthness of self, not just create a division and say, you know, just the black man and this and that, because we're all, we're, we're not putting, we're not putting it all out there in a the hole. If we want to create things, then create our own platform that we can be on right now. Create our own motherfucking car, car company, even though some people probably are working on that, you know, but until we get to that, you know, it may be 400 more motherfucking years. Right now, it's important for us to not continue to put division it's out okay. That's that's my thing. Okay, so I'm not I'm not putting division out, and I and I'm then not I, I was born into this world to change it. Now I gotta use what what I I, I gotta use the system against the system to change it. 
it, it, it's, it's, it's when you use the system to stay in that bitch and be comfortable that it's a problem. When I'm saying you got to use the system against self. Like we got a website. We use IG to promote our website. We got our music. We use IG. We use these main platforms to, to promote ours. You understand? We're becoming indigenous and independent on our own. But we use what we have because we was born in it. We was born into it. We're here to change things. That, 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 that doesn't mean that I'm creating division. I guess I am. I guess I am creating division because this is the time when the real gonna be separated from the fake anyway. That's just in all in all prophecy. So here's what I'm saying to you. I'm not here to judge you. I'm only here to speak the truth and the truth may judge you. If you feel judged by the truth, you know what they say. You convicted because I'm not, I'm talking I'm to a demographic of African American people and how they give it up. Now, I'm not talking to nobody personally. If you're offended by it and if the shoe fit, put that motherfucker on and wear it. I'm just talking in general. And and if, you know what I'm saying, I'm not trying, listen, I got, you can't be a truth, to, truth speaker and not offend people. Because it's an African proverb that say what? Truth speaker has no friends. So if I'm going to tell it straight, I'm going to tell it straight. Now, I am educating the people. I am telling them about what they need to understand about, but also letting them know, like, no, we're not just using this white man technology who we who we invented before him, but that's okay. What I'm saying is we're actually using it for a purpose. I'm not on here doing dumb shit, promoting no product or nothing like that, but the truth, I'm here to wake people up with my voice and everything that I am that I've been given and awoken to. That's what I'm using this platform for. That's it. All right, so check this out. That's beautiful what you say. That's beautiful. You say, yeah, let's, let's, let's use the system. Let's use their system against them. Beautiful. So that's the same things that we do as far as, okay, if I'm if she's wearing weave in her hair. Beautiful blonde weave. I got chains around my neck. Okay. Beautiful blonde weave? Well, let's, listen, 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 listen. From dark weave to blonde weave, red or purple, baby. Uh, at the end of the day, we can use the uh -huh. of perception on how you got to B, you know, if you uh, look this type of way, they already told you as unconscious. So now we're bringing a new perspective to where you can be intelligent, love yourself, and still live the way that we live. You don't have to subscribe to a certain type of uh, look, a certain type of doctrine. You, you see what I'm saying? And if you don't see what I'm saying, you just said the same thing. So that would be contradictory. You're using the system right. against the system. You see what I'm saying? So I agree with you about using the system against the system. That's all I wanted to say. And I know you have other questions, and I do apologize. So I, I want to respond to that quick. I have to say this. I have to say this. Brother, it is not okay to wear weave. It is not okay to wear beautiful. It's not beautiful about blonde weave on a black woman. It's nothing because it's it's not her. What's beautiful is who she is. That's what's beautiful. We, if we can't appreciate who she truly is, then that ain't beauty. Beauty comes from the inside out. When you love who you are, then you represent that. That's not okay. We have to let our woman know. We have to educate our woman on our hair. Our hair is not ether. Now, what that means, what I'm saying is that your hair is energy bouncing out your head. Let's go educate the woman about their hair then. Your hair that comes out your head amplifies your EMF field. Basically, who you are, who you are, it's amplified by your hair. When we damage our hair by covering it up, we're not accepting it. We're trying to look like Europeans. Listen, we have we in 2020. It's time to be who you supposed to be. It's time to be you completely. Listen, when you cover up your hair, hold it down. When you cover up your hair, what you're doing is you're lowering your frequency. Your brain waves are contingent upon your hair growth. Your antenna, your hair amplifies what you are to you. It allows you to feel more. It's called nine ether. It's, a, it's a something that you have to look up. It's called the hair root plexus. That means that your hair is actually connected to a nerve that connects to your nervous system. So okay. with your hair, we are the only species on this planet that grows hair out of our head consistently. Now, hair is energy. It's your crown chakra. When we talk about chakras, your hair is your crown chakra. So your hair is growing out of your head because that's your nature. And when you go against that, you're going against your nature. You're going against nature. So your hair is to be grown as long as possible, never touched, and taken care of 
not stripped of his hair, not stripped of his melanin, because your hair has melanin. It is it plays as an antenna and an amplifier for what you are. So you become very much stronger so that you can feel. When you can feel, you can know. You cannot know anything without feeling. So we become conscious through growing our hair and growing our EMF feel so that we it allows us to feel more so that we can know more and become conscious. So when we tell a woman that it's beautiful for her to have weed, what we're telling her is beautiful for her, for her to destroy what's nature, what's natural to her. You're destroying your natural hair. You're beautiful. You're absolutely gorgeous. And real men want to see their woman how they are. I look like this. I want to see a woman that look like me. Okay. No, so no. The same here. Let, let me not understand. Let me, let me, let me, let me, I got I got this. Okay, KO, it's no disrespect. I'm talking to a demographic. No, no, I'm not, I, you know, I, I, I don't have no equal brother. This is all love. I'm just it's saying, our woman, our woman out there, black woman, you're beautiful the way you are, and we brother. accept you the way we are. Real niggas, real niggas. Love can you. we move? Can we? Like, like we love ourselves, bro. And, 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 all right, go ahead. Go ahead. Can, can we move real, on before we move on? You just the way real niggas love you, just the way we love ourselves, bro. All right, before we move on to the next question, I just want to address this real quick. Uh, pick it back off what you said. You said some about um, the longer a woman hair is, you know what I'm saying? It, it it's in a frequency, so they they smarter, they more in tune to themselves. But it, but for what I have realized, I realized in my life, in my short lifespan, I just seen some dumbass women that got short hair, natural hair. Some dumbass women that wear long hair. I mm -hmm. I, I thought I, you know I didn't know it well, was all the it hair. Does, all, all it does is that's just me. Who you already are. So if you stupid, and guess what? You got you grow long hair. It's gonna make you more stupid. <laughs> if you a stupid broad and you grow long hair, it's gonna make you more stupid. I if see you an intelligent I... broad and you grow long hair, it's gonna make you more intelligent. It just amplifies who you already are. It's the antenna. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's why you seen a long hair chick. She need to cut her hair off because she she dumb beauty, as hell. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder, brother. No, beauty is nature and what's natural. That's that's what's beauty. Beauty is actually a mathematical equation. Well, I got a Did question you know for that? you. I got a question yes, for you. Beauty, beauty, beauty is all, listen. When it comes to beauty, it is scientifically proven that the demographic of someone's face or how they line. This is why plastic surgery is important. Because the way their eyes are aligned, it's actually mathematical. Beauty, mathematical. It's not in the eyes of the holder. It's actually something that is mathematical. Well, I got a question. I got a question and for you. For you to do this math. Beautiful woman on this planet. So how many wives? How many wives that? Uh, how many wives you have? I got so many wives, it's crazy. On I got virtual wives, and I got, got my in life wives. I got seven in life, in life, in life. I have seven, and in the virtual world, because we also live in the virtual world now. In the virtual world, I have many, okay. plenty of plenty of wives. And uh, Mr. TKO, how many wives do you have? Uh, I have a few. Uh, I have two here. Uh, I'm really big on. Uh, Quality over quantity. So, uh, you know, while, while I surround myself around, you know, uh, I'm very, I'm very careful, you know. But yeah, I have, a, I have a few. Okay. So, like Baba G said, he have many, he, he have a few wives right there beside him. We, we <laughs> Yo, your chat, funny as shit. Shout out to the chat. <laughs> Yo, shout out to your chat. They funny as shit. Shout out to everybody in the chat. I love you. I love it. I fucking love so, it. Share the video. So you have you have multiple wives, Miss TKO. You have multiple wives. So, what role does your wife play in your lives? Me, my wives uh, play as a helper for what I'm doing. They reflect everything I'm doing. A wife is like man. You plant a seed in her. Good land gonna re reproduce ten times fold. That means that they gonna work for me. They're going to amplify what I am. I need them to help me get my message out in every way. I need her to be empty. I need to fill up with everything that I am so she can reflect me and be beautiful and say my message out of her mouth. I need her to reflect me. She's my reflection. She is my helpmate. I need her to help me and my mission to get this knowledge out there. That's what my woman can do for me, man. So she your life. Every single way. Huh? So she, she your life. She, she, she everything. Okay. So... When 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 would it, when would be the point that she wake up and say I want to be my light too? Would you support that? If if her light and my light, me and her ain't married. She need to go. Period. So she's 
She's not allowed to be her own life. No, she is being her own woman when she picked me. That's what she want to do with her life. She want to do me. But <laughs> you feel but me, TK? TK, but you, you feel that, nigga? I know you feel that, my nigga. I'm, 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 I'm letting you finish it. I'm letting you finish it. Go ahead, Miss TK. It's on you. I love that. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, you still my nigga. Hey, yo, listen. Never forget, we come from the hood, nigga. We done went to jail. We done did five years in prison. And I know we trying to leave be all proper for these people. Man, fuck these people, man. We still hood, nigga. You nah, know, nah. We still listen, from listen. The hood, G. Listen, I, I, hood. gratitude, King. I, 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 I know most definitely why. I know most definitely why I'm That nigga, nigga a real nigga, homie. Hey, but check this out. Check, I'm a real man, you know. Uh, but most definitely, you know, um, the question was, where does my wife? Well, I didn't forgot the question. I didn't. <laughs> what, what role? No, what role does your wife hey, yo, play in your funny, life, yo. in your marriage? Okay, so you know, uh, a woman was created to be the helper. You know, whether it's biblical term, whether a woman was created to be the helper. You know, we the head. I'm the king. I'm the head. But they're my men. They hold me up, you know. Some people just want their, their women to speak, be behind them. I like my women to be on the side of me to help me, to help me up. So what they are are my helpers. You know, they're my helpers, and that's in many ways. You know, uh, I, I, I love a woman that's strong. You know, some people, some people like with me being an alpha male. Me being, a, I need another woman that's gonna have a strong, uh, not too passive, not too. Oh yeah, they're gonna be submit to me. Yeah, yeah, they're submissive to me. But because uh, a real woman is always going to be submissive, but a woman that got, got a voice, a woman that can kind of be like, hey, King, you know, I suggest we, I feel like, hey, you may be slipping over here because I know I don't have all the answers. I can humble myself as I grow, but they still follow my lead. So I feel like a woman is just a helper, you know, a helper, a helper to get out the message. Like Baba G said, that was beautiful, you know. Um, <laughs> you know? Baba G, I love you, bro. You my brother. We <laughs> brothers, bro. Yes. We just, brothers. Let the people know you from the hood, yes, bro. Yeah, all that. They know. They know. They know me. No, they know. don't. They don't. They, 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 I'm very transparent. Nice yeah, I'm very. No, no, no. You, 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 you think I'm a nice guy? No, no, I'm saying you. Know I'm saying this. I'm saying you think I'm a nice guy because you don't know me. But my platform, they know me. Nah, nah, nah. I never yeah. said. I know okay. who you are. Cause okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're on the phone with you. Yeah. Know who you are. yeah. But I'm not a bad guy either. I'm not a mean guy either. No, no, no. You're not a bad guy. You're a real nigga. Tell me you're a I'm just a real man. That's how I'm fucking out of my life. Most definitely. You so let him know you a beast, nigga. Shit. I don't, I'm from T-Town Southside, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, okay. yeah let him know. <laughs> so do all, your, do all y'all wives provide something <laughs> different, or you look at your wives as equal? I look at them as a team you used to play with. I'm I'm Pat Sajak, and they the Knicks. Let me tell you something. At the end of the day, I'm the coach, and they the team. Yeah. You dig? That's how I look at them. And everybody, yeah. there's some star players on this motherfucker, but they better play together because ain't no I and team, motherfucker. That's what I see him as. I'm the coach, and you the motherfucker. He like that. Look at him. Right, right. He like that shit. Look. And what I say is this, you know, uh, every woman, every 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 human being is different. Like that shit. Every human being, like is so every woman is different. So every woman is gonna play a different role. Some uh, what she may have. She might not have it. She might, she might not have but they all bring it. It's just like when you eat a full course meal. You're going to have some mashed potatoes, macaroni. Well, not Baba G. You might have some motherfucking some leeks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I told you. You know what I'm saying? 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 Hey, hey, Baba G. Boy, you're yeah. a fool, boy. The last time I checked, boy, hey, LeBron bitch in the real, though. I'm a coach. And Michael Jordan is bigger than the coach. Yeah, no, he ain't. He ain't never when, when the yeah, coach. They, yeah, they are. Guess I'm what? Gonna let, I'm gonna let you hold that thought. Nah, Michael Jordan was never bigger than the bigger than the white man. Never. Never. The white man controlled Michael Jordan. You never forget that. All right. That's why Michael Jordan played by the rules. They make hey. the rules. The only thing Michael I'm Jordan saying, you better make sure you ain't got no Michael Jordans and no Kobe and no LeBrons on your team, boy. They're gonna start running hey, the team. I need, I need, I need a Michael Jordan and a Pat Scotty Pippen. Okay. Yeah, okay. I need a dream team. <laughs> hey, hey, and I'm gonna own the whole fucking team. I don't even have to be. I need an all star. I want to own the whole motherfucking team. team. Right. What about that? You yeah, know, I need I, an all star I, team. I, 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 Mike owns his own team. <laughs> <laughs> Mike don't own shit. Mike own the Porsche. Oh, the owner of the whole motherfucking thing. Mike don't own shit. Mike own the portion. And guess what? When Michael Jordan was trying, 
Guess who made more money? Him or Phil Jackson? Who made more money? Don't worry, I'll wait. Mike. Mike's oh, okay, a you can believe it. Believe that. Believe that. But who who owned the Chicago Bulls when he was playing? Don't worry about it. Mike. <laughs> Mike with nothing but the talent. It was the niggas in the back. When I'm Jewish boys, they own everything. Ask somebody. He know. He know who I'm talking about. Come on, let's talk real talk. So I got a question for you. So you got to talk real talk. Hold on. I still, I still got to get my check. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you. Yeah. Are your wives in charge of bringing in the income, or you? This is a question nah. for both of you. No, no, no. Our law provides for me. Boy, I ain't asked you that question, boy. Listen, 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 listen. Go ahead, go ahead, laugh. Go ahead, laugh. There you go, laugh. No, bro, right I, I did, I, I'm asking you who bringing the income. Hey, listen, listen, listen. I'm going to tell you again, and I want y'all to laugh. Laugh at me. Ha, ha, he, he. Our law provides for me. All right. I work for God. That's what's up. I don't work for nobody but God. So God dropping down Allah money out of heaven. I need to start getting my prayers Allah, together there, man. Yes, There's something I'm doing wrong. Yes. Listen, that I'm trying to show you that you can do the same thing. But guess okay. what? You you as the white man. I don't white work man. for nobody. I work yeah. for God. Yes, when you were shooting them hoops, that white man paid you to shoot them hoops. Basketball used to be a thing maybe you enjoyed playing. But when you got to play that 60 fucking games a goddamn season, when you don't feel like playing, you still got to play. Michael Jordan had to play through the flu. You feel me? So he could keep his money on the table and his reputation. So let me say something. It's called being a house nigga, entertainer for that, right. that for them white people. Let me say Last something. time I checked, I played for me and my family, bro, and the ones that care for Nah, nah, you didn't. Listen, even you and your family, listen, before you had a family, before you, they gave you a family. Before they, before you had a family, you were still playing. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about my mom, my brother, my sister, and all them. So I, nah, I, I had a man, nah, I man, playing. you ain't playing for them because that shit. You like I said, that's still cooning. That's called cooning. That's called cooning. I'm playing for my mama and my daddy to make sure that they have it. Dude. I mean, we all be house niggas. Listen, listen. I work for a law. I work for a law. Then, a then, law brother, tell me how law providing your checks. I, that yo, what you say again? What was your question? Tell me how Allah is providing your checks. Tell me how you getting your money, bro. It, it, it was just a question, bro. That's it. No, it, it, it's just a question. Tell me how you let me get in your business as a man. Any man oh. that want to get in another man's business, that shit ain't right. Now we okay. know that. that now you, oh, hey, hey, you, you, you ain't got to answer you the question, brother. It was just a question. You, you ain't got to answer the question. TK, it was just TK, a question. I'm just <laughs> fucking with you, TK. I'm just fucking with him. It's not like that, TK. I'm not. I'm fucking with. Him. No, you good, you good, bro. Cause you. No, I'm right. Right. Just, 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 come on, let's ask, ask some questions. Interviewing him, so let's let's I get know, through. I know you're fucking with him, TK. All right. You know, we wild okay. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Bubba, he's okay. He's okay, he's okay. He's he's okay. TK. He's good. With him. No, 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 no we 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 fucking with him. It's all love. I just I just want to get through. He know. I'm just saying, like, you don't ask a man. You can go into a man's pockets. You don't do that. Like, how you getting your money? We don't do that. So, okay, I'm not going in your pockets. I'm just asking you, do your wife provide for the family or do you? So I'm not no, going no, no. in your, I'm, I, I, I'm so not going Allah, where you get Allah, your Allah, money Allah, from. Allah provides, Allah provides. Okay, no problem. Uh, Mr. TKO, do you want to add to that? Okay, and the question was, say it again. Do your wives provide for the family or do you all provide for the family? Or just your uh, wife? Uh, you know, I'll provide them the inform information and knowledge. To put them in a position to be able to be providers, you know, and uh, so yes, we all provide. I provide jewels, and I provide. I have residual income, you know. I have a career too, so I, I bring currency to the uh, to the table. Uh, but I offer the, the main currency is the knowledge, the knowledge is in my mind, and that's why I can lose everything and come from home for prison and come back up on my second time, you know. So, so I so give you your money too. <laughs> <laughs> Allah provides for you too. I, well, yeah, the next, I, I, was, I, I was just being specific because I, I know what question he was asking. So you know, of course, God put me in, in a position, but at the same time, we can't just say God faith without works is dead. So we gotta do our work too. You know, right. we gotta have a, if any. I, I got you. So it's, I'm sorry, I'm cutting you off. In the view, you're I'm okay. Here. You're hey, you okay? You have something to say? Say, it. say. It. Yeah. 
You know, so this is a question. Would you allow your wife, one of your wives or all of your wives to actually lead at times or just the male, you, that will lead them at all times? Because now these days you have independent women that they got brilliant minds. Women have brilliant minds. Not only men have brilliant minds. Women have brilliant minds too. And women have goals and drives too. So, if you are stuck in a hard place, would you allow one of your wives to actually lead you out of that hard place? Or would your ego let me, let me say, come in the let way me, of that? Uh, let me say this. Um, from the perspective of, of, of leading, uh, me being a man, I will always lead. Even if I'm in, I am in a hard place, whether I was in prison, I'm still a leader because of the things that I implanted in. So, she's working off the information that I built into her. You, you see... So, um, but at the same time, with allowing a woman to be my helper and to help and take up the flat or do certain things when I'm in a vulnerable position where I can't, of course. But as far as like lead the household and things of that nature, no, that's my that's my position as a man. But now we all know this is 2020. So just like it's alpha males, it's also alpha females. Just like it's strong males, it's also strong females as well. So, Baba G, amongst all your wives right there, you might have an alpha female and an actual leader amongst you. Would you allow her to lead if you have that amongst you? All right, like I told you, I'm coach. You know, of course, we got star players. It's an all-star team. Everybody is starting their own time and on their own in their own way. But people lead as they lead. You understand what I'm saying? So, somebody like, for instance, Malia, she sews. She does all the clothing. She knows how to make the clothes. I is a very good cook. And we have Natiri. She's an artist. She draws. She paints. You understand? We have uh, Efru, who does dance. She likes to dance a lot. We have uh, we have um, Star, who might do, uh, you know, help with cooking. Or she might, uh, she do, she make jewelry. She do, sang, she sings. You know what I'm saying? So everybody has their gift, and they all each have a little bit of the same gift. But everybody coming as a team, it ain't really about who star or who the lead. It's really about who can get the job done when they can get the job done. Shit, we less concerned about who the leader, more concerned about getting the goddamn job done. I, I feel you. I, I, I feel you on that. But what if one of them can lead and do your job? Would you let her? No, 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 no. Hold on, 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 bro. I, 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 I'm here to be. I'm here to be the man. You understand what I'm saying? I'm here to be the man. Okay. You understand what I'm saying to you? Ain't gonna be none of that. Okay. Ain't gonna be none of that. I'm the man. Here. You feel what I'm saying? Allah, I, I, I'm led by Allah, and, and they are led by me. I'm the leader of them. Ain't nothing shaking around here without without me confirming it. I'm the boss, just like in a in a corporation. Ain't nothing shaking out here until it come through me. And if okay. it's not confirmed by me, there's going to be problems. Both. Now, now if, that, if there is problems within your home, that's a good question. That, that's, now, let's pick it back off that. Now, this this going towards both of you. If there is a problem within your home, between your wives and you, how would you handle that problem? How would you discipline that problem if one of them do want to leave? If one of them Celebrate. Mm -hmm. Oh, if somebody wants to leave, most definitely they can leave. I'm talking about lead, lead, lead. Oh, lead. Oh, yes, yeah, I like said lead. Okay, but uh, wants to leave. I well, know you understand. Leave you gotta understand this. A woman, I refuse in my life. You know, you want to say? Let me let you. Take, all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right, I love right, you, brother. Right. So much. Yeah. Yeah. Though. Um. When it comes to a woman, you know, choosing to be in my life and choosing me as her king, it's because she wants me to lead her. She she values me as a king. So a woman would never choose me to be her king for because she wanted me to lead her eventually. I mean, so so, so she so she can lead me. You see what I'm saying? Uh, she already understands my value as a king. She already understands. She already looks for me for guidance, wisdom, and knowledge. So if a woman wants to uh, wants to lead, I, I, I've never been in a situation like that. I've never met a woman that chose me to be her leader because they're, they're, 
When I mess with a woman, she doesn't choose me because of my lifestyle. Don't get me wrong. Some may attempt to choose me because they think about the money, the fame, or he may be looking good. But before you can even step in this door, I got to I gotta already know the type, type of, I got to have a great understanding, understanding of who you truly are as a woman and why you choose me. If you value who I am and not the external things, but the internal things, not the jewels around my neck, but the jewels in my brain. So if you value that, this is why you choose to be in my life and choose to make me your king. So, you know, you choose to make me your leader. So I, I just, I never been put in that situation. So, but if somebody do want to leave, um, you know, I, I allow them that it be out of unharmony with what I got going on. Okay. So therefore, if a, if a strong woman, uh, a, a woman that's been designed to lead, because there's some women out there and they say, you know, TK, TKO and Baba IG, I just want to be a complimentary piece to you. I don't want to walk in the back of you. I don't want to walk in the front of you. I want to walk on the side of you. What would you, what would you say to that? Well, that's how I live my life today. You know, my women don't have to be in the back of me. They don't, I want my women to be strong. To be my help. So this is how I live today. Yes. Uh, Baba IG, come out of hiding, brother. Answer that question, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay with me mm -hmm. it's like this when we have a problem we use the three c's throw them up three c's okay gang bang. three c's is the three c's first of all we go back to commitment commitment communication and consistency you okay. we got the three c's so we communicate first of all um, with women that have come to me that want to be leaders and they too strong, they got a strong personality, they gotta get the fuck out. Period. Nah, I'm the boss. I run this shit. Everybody eats, baby. Everybody eats, B. You feel me? <laughs> but y'all niggas can't be stepping on my toes. You feel me? But you can't bite the hand that feeds you. Everybody if, and amongst them, if they start fighting, we gonna have a we gonna have a talk and we're gonna do it like that. But at the end of the day, if a woman don't respect my gangster and she don't respect my manhood, I don't want to have to even raise my voice if I say something that's a rap. First of all, that has to be established. You know, me and you, we ain't going back and forth. You ain't going to be so strong to the point where you start talking back and forth to me. You got to go. I'm the boss. You don't go to your job and tell your boss, hey, this is what I feel. No matter how strong you are, you know your motherfucking place. Therefore... You know that I'm the motherfucking CEO of this business and I don't want to hear no disrespect or I'm going to fire you. Period. You feel so, me? So no strong women's in your camp. I get it. Okay. No, not not strong. Of course you got to be strong to be in my camp because of what I'm doing. So what I'm saying is not strong to the point where you overpowering or think you can do lead over me. Know no, your no. place. You could be strong in a position as far as what we need in the camp and what I need on my team. But as far as all that lit, that I'm going to end it, yo, da, 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 get your, you fired, bye, you resign, you fired, get out of here, you fired, because I'm the CEO, and this is a business, and I'm the boss, so I don't want to, you know, have no, no misunderstandings in that, but when it comes to strong, I need strong people around me, you know what's strong for a woman to submit, that's the strength of some, a woman to know how to shut the fuck up when, and, and, and be led, that's strong to me. A woman that know how to play her motherfucking part and control herself. That's strong to me when it comes to a woman. Because women are emotional. For a woman to be strong, she has to be able to control her emotions. That's strong to me when it comes to a woman. A woman that don't know how to do that is weak to me. I don't care how, how masculine or macho she is. So, <laughs> let me say this. I, I, I have to agree with him on part of that. You know, I, most, I fuck with it. I fuck with it when he said because I, I, I'm stronger... I'm not, I'm not with the, the, the disrespect. You know, I'm not with somebody trying to, uh, you know, like I've been had certain Aries and certain uh, Taurus, you know, certain strong type of minded, minded women. And I don't have nothing against a strong minded woman because my women are strong minded. But when it comes to a woman that's trying to wear the pants and become over dominant, that's where a conflict, you know, because I am an alpha male. But one thing is what I want to say, you know, all women should be reflections of us. And if I'm a strong man, I require my woman to be strong. See, but a lot of women, a lot of men say that, oh, yeah, your woman pussy, but they want their women to be pussies and don't have a voice. And I'm not saying in no way that that's what he's doing. But what I'm saying is I respect a woman with a voice 
They can speak because I might not be in the wrong. You know, when I say I'm God, I'm not the capital G O G, so I don't know everything. I'm not the all knowing, I'm the present God. You see what I'm saying? I just know my connection to God and what I am. So at the end of the day, it may be something that she can see or something that Armani can see that I missed. I may get it wrong and I'm imperfect. And I can put my ego to the side. And having a strong woman, a strong woman is going to help you with that. We can't say that we won't help, but then when it's time for help, oh, now we want to be in our ego because they're trying to help. You know? Okay. But that's just, you know, my perspective on it. So, so for me, I, I, I understand what y'all saying. Y'all don't want a woman with, with, with drama. You don't want a woman that come into, the, come into y'all fold and tell you all what you yeah. should do and what you can do and what you shouldn't do. Okay. But what if you had that strong woman to come in your fold and tell you straightforward, like, look, okay, hey, this is my dream. I prefer to walk this way because this way that I'm walking, you're going to benefit from it as well, too. Because there's some women that sit back and say, you know what, you're not going to talk to me in a type of fucking way that you choose to talk to me just because you feel as if you're the head. You respect me, I'm going to respect you. If you show me love, you show me kindness, I'm going to show you love. I'm going to show you kindness. What would you say to that? Bitch, shut the fuck up and sit down. Somebody want to hear that stupid shit. fuck is wrong with you? I'm the man here, bitch. And I'm going to drop that dick on her. Shut the fuck up when I'm talking, bitch. You feel me? And I don't want to hear no talking. I don't want to hear shit. Because I'm the man around here. You know the fuck your, your motherfucking place. I'm going to drop that dick on her. You feel me? And if that don't work, get the fuck out. I want to hear that back talk. You need to know your face. Look, a woman come at you, she's supposed to be a little scared of you. A woman supposed to be a little scared of you. If she, don't scare, if she ain't a little scared of you, she ain't going to respect you. The, the, how you make them scared, respect, brother? How you make them scared? Listen, yo, no, I'm talking about respect. See, that's what's wrong. You you like to the, date them American women. Oh, I like an independent woman. I don't need that. I need a woman that's filled with me. I don't need none of that. I need a robot. <laughs> Feel me to get my job done. I need a robot. Nigga, that's what I need. I need all submission. I know what I'm doing. I don't need her motherfucking mind. Allah's leading me. I'm a man. I run the shots. I got this. At the end of the day, I just need you to do what I need you to do. Well, bro, Let me I... make my own mistakes. Let me make my own mistakes. I make my own motherfucking mistakes. A I robot is a weak woman, bro. Oops, I learned the whole hard way, bitch. I don't need... I don't need... Hey, yo. Uh, you, you need to do this, bitch. I need you to make the mistake with me. And then be like... And let me see that you got my back and get us out of the mistake with me. I need you to support me. Let me be wrong. I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong. I want a lot of work with me. And then guess what? I want you to ride with me right or wrong. Straight up. That's how no. I give it up. I, 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 and I know he's going to give you the way. No, no, no. You don't know what I'm about to say, my brother. You know, with all due respect. Uh, no, I, I, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you say that you uh, Allah. I mean, Allah rules you. Allah speaks to you, but Allah is not. He doesn't. He, he doesn't rule through fear. We gotta understand. We can't give them. We can't give the wrong perception. You know, when it comes down to people submit to us, they're not. They're not supposed to submit to us out of fear. You know, it's out of love. Jeez. God is love. You know, Jeez. so God is love. Jeez. What? Jeez. I bet you your woman. I bet you your woman. Right. I bet you your woman scared to lose you. I bet you they scared. I bet you they fear losing you because of that lifestyle you offer. I guarantee that's not, that's not why they submit, though. But that's fear. That's not why they TK. submit. They submit out of respect TK. because they know my value. That's fear, TK. Without fear, there ain't no love. I disagree. Without I disagree. fear, there ain't no love. I ain't gonna have no fear. I, love, I, I disagree. That's, that, that's what I'm saying. Because you yeah. dropping that dick on them. They fear that fear. You might you might got that platinum that that platinum gold dick or something, boy. You dropping you dropping. Hey man, hey, dick don't change nothing. I've been having a good dick for a long time. Listen, hey, TK, listen, listen, a woman gonna submit. You put that dick, you 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 satisfy her sexual needs, you take care of her primitive needs as far as surviving. She she a stupid bitch and she don't motherfucking submit to you. That motherfucker gonna submit to you, you taking care of her. And if you, and she know she be stupid to lose a nigga like you, cause you's a real nigga, and you teaching her stuff, and she elevating, she a dumb bitch that she lose you, so she fear losing you. Without yeah, but fear, there's no love. There ain't no understanding. Check this out though. 
You you very intelligent, but that's not how you word it at first. Yeah, you know how you yeah. saying you want your bitches to be real. I'm your queens, your women, whatever you know, whatever you call them, the robots. Hey, you want them to be out, you say out of fear, you know. So so yeah yeah yeah. Bitch need to know how she come when she come at you. She need to know before she speak. She could piss you the fuck off, the fuck and lose her spot. She oh. could piss you the fuck off and lose her spot. She need to have a little bit of uh uh. uh let me know. Let me I mean, let me come at him a certain way. I don't want to get upset at me. No. Listen, a woman need to fear how she come at you. She don't. Okay. She gonna violate you. And you, and, and remember what I told you, bro. Remember what I, I, I told you. All right, cool. Now I, I got a question. You know better. Uh, you know better. Uh, Bubba. You 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 a, you a Taurus, right? Nah, I'm a uh, I'm a Pisces. With, Pisces I'm a Pisces with a Taurus more. Oh, see, a Pisces don't even play. Pisces don't even fucking play the radio. Pisces about that mind. They fuck mind up. The Pisces niggas that Pisces will fuck with your head, baby. Them, they they don't even need to hit you because they'll kill you with their mind. And, 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 and the Brother Bob IG. Fuck. Hey, look, I'm just telling you what it is, bro. That's all. I'm about to run the next question to you then, for you can tell me exactly what it is. Nigga, about to look, look, look at TK. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. That's my brother. That nigga, nigga fucking okay. mind. He fucking <laughs> mind. He was going to be on the same type of shit. I already knew our perspectives was going to be a lot of different from <laughs> a lot of Oh, oh, oh yeah, they different. Brother, <laughs> brother. Hey, they different. Fuck with, well, what's your sign, bro? What's your sign, bro? I'm a Sagittarius, bro. Oh, okay. You like freedom anyway. You probably even got no white. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know what to answer this question? You a Taurus? No, I'm a Sagittarius. Taurus. What's your moon? Who me? Who me? I, I got I got like I got like a cancer moon in the first house. So it's kind of like a Leo moon. Okay. What's okay. your moon sign? My moon sign is Taurus. See, I knew it. I knew it. Let's get it. He's Taurus. You's a real one. I knew it. Bubba IG. Hey. Let, let me tell you what the moon bro. signs on these questions bro. are. <laughs> huh? I'm gonna give you the questions real quick, man. Come on, G. Come with the questions. Right. All right, Geraldo. Hey, <laughs> not even close, nigga. <laughs> that nigga playing Montel. Montel. Hey, come on, Montel. I'm just keeping the peace. I'm keeping the peace right now, man. Hey, some would say <laughs> two men with so many wives that y'all have right now, they would say that a lot of them women are brainwashed or they are held against their will. What would you say to that? I'm sorry, baby. Both. 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 Let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell you, son. They brainwashed because they. Cause I had to. I had to. I. Uh, either either way, when they heard me teaching, they had to wash the system or the program that they already had to fuck with me. So they had to be. They brain. Their computer had to be washed to say, "Oh, I'm gonna go fuck with TK." So before you, you come here, you are gonna have to wash your mind from what you was dealing with before. I ain't them other niggas. I'm TK. You feel me? So they gonna have to be brainwashed by you. And and second. Uh, they hear against their own will. Well, a lot of them, their own will is to disrespect the man. They will to do what the fuck they want to do. But guess what? They're going to have to be dominated. So, yeah, in a way, they get they hear against their own will. But they've been that will for you because they respect what you stand for. And they respect because you handle your business. Okay. So, yeah, both. TK, TKO. TK, 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 <laughs> hit him in the head, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My name. Um, when, when it comes down to it, man, uh, no. And for everybody looking, including law enforcement, nobody's here against their will. Nobody is here against their motherfucking will. It's all okay. by for real, for real, like Not by motherfucking yeah, points. Yeah, yeah. You know, all yeah, love yeah. in this motherfucker over here. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, uh, <laughs> um, I'll be fucking so, so, <laughs> so, so in the process, so we got it. We we clear. We clear. TKO is not holding anyone against their will, but Baba G have brainwashed him. <laughs> we, <laughs> it's Yo, going I, up there. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, yo. I knew you was the feds, yo. <laughs> oh, boy. Not even close, boy. Not even close. I still right. get highs when I hear the police. So we, we, we on the same boat with that one. Yeah, this, I, I didn't get the will. This is all here. They, are, they wanted to. Sometimes I'd be having to kick them out or something because they, I mean, they want to be here so much. Nothing. Yeah. Tea time. But no problem. They ain't going nowhere. So here, here come the next question. Now, during the recruitment process, are the wives allowed to bring in kids? 
And if the if the wives are allowed to bring in kids, or if the wives are not allowed to bring in kids, but you like a wife, but you have kids, what would you? How would you handle that if a wife of yours have a kid that she's bringing inside? Okay. TK, can I answer this first? Go ahead. I don't. I really prefer not to have women with another man kid. I'm gonna be. What? I'm gonna be all the way real with you, bro. If you got kids, them kids better be in tune with what I'm about already. Like this is woman right now. Her kids is actually mm -hmm. online teaching my knowledge, so that's cool. They mm -hmm. they in they in tune. But another man kids, I I I rather not do that, man. There's too many women out here. That don't have no kids that can have your kids you feel me and kids another thing is not so important to me as much as this knowledge is nothing come before knowledge because i'm gonna tell you like this if you ever think about anybody great whether it's malcolm x martin luther king leonardo um dicaprio or anybody ever that has been great in life their kids ain't important the only thing that's important is the message that they came to bring albert einstein do you know albert einstein kids no you don't even Michael Jordan kids, anybody that was great, the only thing that they that mattered it was what they came to offer. And I'm not so hung up on kids more than I'm hung up on the message I came to bring. So I, I want the woman for the message. And if their kids is, is going to be a part of bringing that message, then I'm all good with it. And if they offer something and all of that, and they can hold their own way, I'm good. So I got a question now, for you. I prefer I ask that same question. I got to answer that same question. Oh, you got to answer that same question. For sure, you got to answer that same question. Not to have nobody as kids. You gonna have to leave your motherfucking other kids okay. to be with me. Before you, before well, that's what I always know. So, if a woman come in with a kid and you like this woman, this woman have to leave her kid for you. So this yeah. woman actually prefers you over her kids. That's a fact. So, so in, if in a woman nature, prefer in you, nature, in nature, yeah. okay. If a woman prefer you over her own flesh and blood, her own seed, they're gonna have her back from this lifetime to the next lifetime, and she choose her kid, or you over her kids. Then my brother, Baba Ig, that's not a woman at all. Let me that's get, a oh, puppy. Okay, that's your opinion. Let me tell you how nature works. See, you don't live in a natural environment. <laughs> Let me ask you this: You live in a natural environment. I would like to think that my environment is very natural, brother. Let me let me tell you something, brother. You don't live in a natural environment, brother. I you, just want to let you know, as a human being, you do not live in your natural well, environment, brother. Well, I tell you what, you hold that thought. We're gonna give TK a chance to answer that question that no, you no. that you answered. Then we're gonna get right back to you, brother. I promise you. We're gonna let you finish. Well, yes, why you ask me another question then? I want to answer the question you just asked. Uh, then go ahead, brother. My fault. My fault. My apology. Come on, Montel. All right. My, my, my fault. Listen. He got a bald head, brother. I got a head full of hair. I'm sorry. But keep it moving. Okay. Let's get it. Listen, when it comes to nature, and I know you know this, but in nature, a man's job is to reproduce his sperm and his seed and his legacy. Other, other men actually will uh, kill another child. Not saying I would do that. I'm just saying in nature... If, the, if, a, if a zebra has a baby by another child, it will kill the baby. Or a lion will go and kill the cubs of another of another males just to make sure that he, that's our nature. So with me, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Straight up, bro. A up. woman has to, she can't, listen, listen to me, listen to me. I'm going to say this very clearly. A woman can't put her mother, her father, her children, nothing, not even her own life before me. That sounds like an insecurity to yeah. me, brother. It, 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 it can sound like you want it. I just want you to know how I give it up. A woman has to be able okay. to leave anything for me, even her own life for me. And, and I just want you to know that. Okay. When it comes to me, I'm going to say it again. Her mother, her father, her family, she got to disown everything and put me before anything to be with me. Point blank. Did you record it? Have it recorded. Alright, so check this out. Um, uh -huh. One thing, one thing. If, if I disagree with everything that you're saying, one thing that I, I can't say that I respect about uh, Baba G is he speaks his truth, and he's not scared to be transparent. Speaking his truth. Um, 
one thing about me with the original question, please say the original question to the audience so I can answer that answer that in totality. If a if a, a woman, if you recruiting your next wife and she have kids or she have a kid, but you are really in tune to this woman, would you allow this this woman kid to come within the family or would you tell this woman to actually leave her kids in order to be inside your family? See? Now, this is where it gets back to the root of what I said about intent. I love building. And how can I not love to build children if the children are, the, are our future, the future of this world? So, yes, I can build my queens all day. But what I really want to get the message out to is the youngest of children. If I, if I could form that up, if she already came from a toxic relationship, this nigga was no good, no good uh, baby, uh, baby daddy out doing this, niggas head out in the clouds. Why not take that on and take, like, I take time. Oh, wow. She's not came. Mm. She's not came with her child. She got a son. He's upstairs. He call, He calls me dad. I took him. Oh, hey, 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 um, I, I love. I, I love being that person yeah. that develops a man or a woman to help them develop. Now I can't teach you how to be a woman, but I can help you become a better woman. You see what I'm saying? So the same thing with when it comes to children, they need that. They already. There's so many different homes. That's, that's adding to the problem, in my perspective. Yeah. It's added to the problem allowing a one. It's already one thing that these, these niggas ain't around for their kids. Let's long taking my mothers. What the fuck? Uh, now the, the queens are not, not there for their children. There ain't no love like a mother's love. I, I had my mother. I didn't have a father. You see what I'm saying? Right. Right. But I probably would have even became even greater if I had both. So at the end of the day, if a woman wants to come to me and I know she's going to be a reflection of me, a real woman, the essence of a woman, a queen, and I'm playing that role as a god. Hey, that's beautiful for children. You got you. Now, uh, the next question, the next question that I got to ask. Now, you said the same shit I said in a different way. You ain't say the same I shit, boy, stop. You. I fucking love you. I did say the same shit. I said I got a shorty right now, and her children are in tune with what we stand for, so at the end of the day, she could come through. I said the same shit, TK. You, you my mother, I love you. That's what's so, up. One mind. <laughs> I got. I, Word. For me, I love the way he put it together. Now, that nigga slick if, with it. If Why I put my daughter, Pisces, nigga, hey, look. Pisces, if I put my daughter Bo, <laughs> if I put my daughter Bo in my head, would I be manly? If I, if would I not be manly if I put my daughter Bo in my head? If I like to put my daughter Bo in my head, it's a question. That, that's a question to me. Yes, Baba Aji. That's bro, I don't give a fuck what you do with your hair. I don't give a fuck what you do with your okay. hair, bro. Okay. I'm not paying attention to you. Any what? man that's paying attention to you close enough to look at the bow in your ear is a motherfucking is the nigga that ain't a real man. A nigga don't look at another nigga and pay attention to another nigga unless it's benefiting him. That's that I, man. I I'm glad you said you're that. Doing, bro. What? This is my what? daughter, bro. It, you it, got it, a bow on your hair. Okay. What that got to do with me? Hey. hey what that got to do with me? This was just on the desk. This was just on the desk. This is my daughter, bow right here, man. It was just. I don't oh, wear bow. Okay, bowl. Montel. Come on. Now <laughs> the next question is this here. <laughs> Now, a viewer, a viewer just sent this this question in, and a viewer said, "Ask Baba Ig, have he ever been with a man since he said he's the man and he's manly? So therefore, I always get a yeah. viewer the chance that the the, the the I have you have. I like okay. I like transsexuals. Like I'm attracted to transsexuals. So you know what I'm saying. So and I was in the stripper industry." I, I found that I was attracted to transsexuals and I fucked transsexuals. That's just what I did. That was a fantasy of mine. That's what I like to do. I'm a okay. transparent person. I'm a real nigga. I'll tell you, I'm a real person. I think transsexuals are very attractive, certain ones, and I get turned on by them. So I fuck them. Yeah. So, yes. and, uh, it, 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 and I still beat my dick to transsexual porn. If, to this day, does it matter to you? What does no, it no, no, bro. Yes, we we gonna know you. We gonna know you. So any of your wives are transsexual. Yeah, I want everybody to know that. I want everybody to know that. Get over it. That's me, nigga. Like I'm not gonna be fake for nobody. Yes. No. I'm, Period. No. I like transsexuals. I think that I'm not gonna be with a transsexual now that I'm in my higher self. But it's still a fantasy. I like the idea of transsexuals. I don't care about what these people think about me if they like me or not. I'm a real one. I'm, I, I wear my heart out on my sleeve. I'm, I don't care about being accepted. I'm me. You understand what I'm saying? So, and my wives is not bothered by that. You know why? Because at the end of the day, I'm me. 
And because I'm me, I still get what I, whatever I want. So someone would say, someone me? would say, okay, he just gave us this great big spiel about, man, if you don't do this, if you don't accept this, you truly don't know who you are. So someone can come back and pick it back off what you said and say, okay, you've been with transsexuals. You're attracted to transsexual, but yet you sitting on you sitting on this live saying that, hey, I'm a real man. I'm not gay. So people can look at you and say, you know what? <laughs> I never Haji said I wasn't gay, bro. I'm so who are I'm whatever you? Whatever people think I am, I'm whatever people think I am. I'm. You can't put a label on me, nigga. I'm infinite, limitless. Nigga, I don't know what I am. Nigga, I'm everything. Nigga, I'm I'm nigga, I'm different. No. <laughs> That's what I am. And, 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 and the black community has a very a big problem with homosexuality and sexuality, and they have very no. immature when it comes to sexuality. Bro, I don't give a fuck. No, about we respect them all, bro. About, On this platform, we respect we respect them all. Yeah. We respect them all. <laughs> but but TK, TK, before you say something, TK, bro, I'm gonna leave you with this here real quick. You say you God. So so since since you say you God, that means you know a lot about God and you should know that God destroyed a whole entire city because of homosexuality, right? Correct? Whoa, okay. whoa. All right. Whoa, uh, hold up, so hold up. Now you talking stuff that you don't know about. No, I'm I'm just now saying. I'm asking you the question. You I'm asking about. you the question. <clears throat> okay. Homosexuality is like what homosexuality is and and what it represents. Okay. Is when the male and female are out of harmony. So if males are treating women disrespectful, then the female will have a child that will be homosexual. Why? Because she needs to make a male that will respect females. So this is what happened. This is why homosexual sexuality actually exists. Homosexual homosexuality exists to bring balance. When in nature, when something is missing, there's always something that's created to bring balance. So when you see a whole bunch of homosexual homosexuals, what you're seeing is that we are out of balance between masculine and feminine principle. So when, when you see the city of Gomorrah being destroyed, it's because they were out of balance with what was, and that's nature and life. So homosexuals actually come like a cancer in the body, which tries to balance itself and actually destroys the host in the process. So what I'm saying to you is, if you understand what the homosexual energy is actually meant for outside of just having nasty ass sex, mm -hmm. then you will understand it was there to balance things. So if women were being treated bad in the tribe, the woman produced child epigenetically would come along and actually care about women because they would see through the eyes of a woman. That's what it's for. And because they see through the eyes of a the woman, they'd be attracted to a man. But they're actually there to protect women. That's what homosexuals are for. They did protect women because there's an imbalance between the masculine and the feminine because males are being unfair to females. And so that's where homosexuality comes from. It's a mutation that comes up in humanity to bring balance. And if you knew that, then you would understand the energy beyond the actual sexual act, which people can't stand, but they don't know why here. It's here for a fucking reason. So that's the metaphysical reason of why homosexuals Sexuality is there. And so when you said um, Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, it was destroyed because of the imbalance and the in, and the immorality. And the homosexuality was nothing but an actual uh, manifestation of showing you that you're in the unbalanced time. So now when you see in our day a whole bunch of, you know, homosexual stuff going on, you know that the imbalance between masculine and feminine um, principle, which means that we're coming to the end of time. Bro. So that's that's what that means, period. bro. Bro, we uh, we we get it. Look, bro, let's make one thing clear. When it comes to gay people, when it when it when it comes when, when it when it comes when it comes to homosexuals like chat. you, we accept you on this page, man. We not we not gonna we <laughs> we you know. So we got TK. Yo, 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 hold on, hold on, TK. TK, this yo, question yo. is for you. You funny as shit. Yo, yo, Stefan, you funny as shit, my nigga. You said when it comes to homosexuals, we accept <laughs> you on this thing. <laughs> yo, bro, call me whatever, yo. Call me, I'm whatever. Bro, I'm, whatever. I'm not calling. I'm hey, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm fucking with you just like you fucking with me, bro. <laughs> That's it. That's it. But, hey. Yo, that's real. I fucking love the chat, too. 
Hey, bro, bro, hey, man, hey, hey, what, hey, one hundred. Before we ask TK this question, one hundred. Hey, a lot of your views I don't agree with, but one thing, one thing I like about you, you speak your truth and you stand in the paint. So I have to always respect yeah. you for that. Right. That's real shit. Mm -hmm. Now that's from the heart. That's from. Hey, I just want to say I, I respect y'all, man. Y'all cool as awesome, cool people, man. And y'all, yo, TK, you cool as shit. Hey, yo, that's why we on this live, bro. Cool collective. You will call cool collective, and your crowd, your crowd, funny as shit. <laughs> these I'm people not... are actually funny. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to laugh so hard because these people are so funny. What they're hey, saying about me. <laughs> I know my viewers on there going hard. Yo. But let, let me ask you Yo, this they, question because th this hard. is a real question. This is a real question. Now, mm -hmm. TKO the man. How would you explain TKO the man? And Baba IG, how would you explain Baba IG the man? First with you, TKO. How would you explain you? If you want the viewers to know exactly, if you want to take away, if the viewers take away the wives, Take away the fancy watches, the home, and all of that stuff. What would you like to say to the viewers about you, the man? Uh, the main thing about me is uh, the message, the love that I have for people, the change, the impact. You know, I always say that um, the biggest people, the greatest people of our lifetime wasn't the ones that became famous. I wasn't the ones that became millionaires, but it was the ones that we contributed to empowering our mind. And I want to be one of those people that empower minds. I want to transform many lives and impact generations. So uh, when it comes to knowing me, I'm somebody who uh, I just want to empower people. I love people. And uh, if I don't leave nothing on this earth, I don't want them to, to remember me for, you know, the flashiness. You know, that's what I love. Nothing, nothing's wrong, wrong with that. Or uh, if I do music, yes, I'm in the industry. Uh, yes, I got beautiful women. So yes, I drive a Bentley. Yes, I wear a Rolex. Yes, I got chains. But what did I leave to change lives in the past generation? So, yes, that, I'm here for the people. That's one thing I want people to know. Like, I'm really here for the people sincerely, and I show it. I live it, you know, behind the scenes. Baba IG. What about you, Baba IG? Huh? <laughs> I'm God. Nigga. We all are God, but not everybody knows we're God. I'm God. I'm God. God. I'm God. I'm everything. I'm everything. I'm the source of reality. Reality doesn't exist without me. And I'm here to tell you that. So if you God, then who is him A he above us in the spiritual realm? Ain't no him. Him is what they, him is what they taught you. That's what you believe. Oh. But without, let me tell you something. Without you, nothing can exist because everything exists because you're observing it through your five senses. Then why would you call yourself You God? are the source of reality. Hold up, hold up, God. Hold up, God. Peace. Let me teach you. <laughs> let me school you. Without you, you would everything that you, you observe in life is through your five senses, correct? TK, correct? You said everything that we observe is through our five senses? Yeah. In the spiritual realm, too, bro. The, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's a go ahead. Regardless, go ahead. everything that you observe is through your five senses. Is it, is, is it right or wrong? And six the, senses. Bro. Oh, spiritual realm, too. Oh, because it's, it's, it's a spiritual realm, multi senses. Six, six, whatever is your, whatever, whatever senses are how many numbers. Okay. It, it, it's through your senses that you experience reality. When you create your heaven and hell, your paradise. I'm, I'm with you on the same frequency. I'm. I'm not. No, hold, I'm up, not hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I gotta. I gotta, start, I gotta say something. Right, when you were observing and someone told you that God existed outside of you, that was something that you observed from your perspective. Did you not? No. It wasn't. Holy shit. Okay. Well, how? <laughs> <laughs> when you, you asked me. Would you, how else would you even know about God or even saying God or even speaking the human language or even speaking English without you observing it Bro. from something okay. you learned Bro. from your observation? Okay, since you put me on the panel, you asking me that. At first, any of my kin people on here will tell you straightforward. My mom is a, a real religious church-going church person. 
Bro, oh I didn't look God, at man. I didn't look at God that way. When you see the shit that I have seen growing up, you don't see God in that way. How I started knowing that God exists. Listen. It's the things that started happening in my life when I was full of shit. When I now, was no, out now, there these, doing let me ask you, bullshit. Let me ask you a question. These th things that you was experiencing, was you experiencing from your perspective? No, bro. Through your five senses? Because if I was experiencing them through my perspective, bro, I'd be dead or in prison right now. I'll show you that shit. Yo, you wasn't experiencing whatever you learned through your, through your senses? Bro, no. Did you see it? Did you hear no. it? Did you see? You asked me. I'm telling you. So therefore, when God works in our life, bro, it's a lot of things that we I can't. do not understand and we don't know. It's just facts. I can't with you, Geraldo. Man, you, I hey, can't. bro, Geraldo. it's what it is, bro. I'm, I'm just saying, you say you, yeah, bro, you not understanding you, what I'm you saying, say, bro, You say you God, so I got this new business adventure that going on, bro. I want you to bless that for it can grow. God, can you help me? Oh, that's what you look at God as, someone that just helps you? No, bro. I just look at God as someone that I can turn to to comfort uh, me when, when I'm in need. No, 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 nigga, no, nigga, no, nigga, no. I'm, I'm just saying. Okay, you, back, 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 back to TK, bro. We'll get on God some other time, bro. Back to TK. TK. TK, this for you. You know, TK, This for TK right here, man. This for TK, man. <laughs> TKO, gratitude. You can give yourself God. Gratitude to the most. Come on, consider yourself God. Gratitude to the most. Come on, your time. Would you right. consider yourself God. Um, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna today. You know, uh, bless me. The highest point of blessing me. My team. You get to bless me. I hey, bro, man, I bro man, I, hey, I see a lot of coolios back there, man. You know, but I mean, they bring people over right here. You know, it might be pennies in there. But, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, come on, hey, 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 I got a question for you, man. What's up with the hair with your women, man? What's up with the hair? I'm Rick James, bitch. What's up with the hair? <laughs> oh, that ain't nothing. This, this ain't nothing, man. This ain't nothing that you could understand. Man. Before, this is something before we get down, down your question, bro. man, look, before before we get there, can we can can uh, Mr. TKO answer that question, please? Do you think you are God? Not God like, but God. Um, okay, so I'm very careful when I say this, you know, because some people can take it out of context. I, I do not think that I'm <laughs> the creator of all things, you know, the capital G. Okay. That's the best way I can break this is down, because I am a God. I am a God. Okay. Just like you're a God. Just like he's a God. Once you know your value. Um, I want you to know who you are. I want you to know who God is and your connection to God. But let me break it down like this. When you think of the ocean and the vastness with all water, and you think of streams and rivers, when that water that's coming into the ocean and streams is still part of that water. It still, came from the main, it still came from the main source of the ocean. And that's how it is with God. You know, God is in us. God is not without us. And, and see, right. religion teaches right. us. I grew up as a Christian, so religion teaches us to look outside for God when God is within us. So yes, to answer that, and that's I why agree. I, I yes, agree on that. that's why I broke it down so nobody will say, "Oh man, he's on some blasphemy," you know. But I'm not the creator. I'm not the all-knowing, omnipresent guy. I did not create. I did not create with one. All this. I don't even play like that. You know. You saying that you saying that God lived within us, so therefore we are God-like. Yes, indeed. We created in the image of God. You know, and um, okay. it's a beautiful thing. So yes, yes, indeed. All right. I'm and I'm you. saying that I am God. And without me, reality can't exist. Nigga, please. Man, what's up with your what's up with your source. wise hat? I am the source. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that you are God and you are the source of reality. And without you observing it, it cannot exist. 
<laughs> Your idea of God comes from some external observation that you have. But you are the very source of reality. Without you, nothing can exist. You are God. I got a question. You are the source. Now, what's up with you? You, I heard you mention uh, Mr. TKO wife's hair because they have weed. And I'm asking you, what's going on with your wife's hair? I wasn't talking no, about No, I know them. you wasn't, wasn't talking about that. I'm saying that you mention it. So I'm asking you. Yeah, I, I see all of your wives well, looking I, I the same. I, I talk in demographics. I see all your wives look the same with the hair. I don't talk about people. I talk about demographics. No, 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 no. We understand that. We understand that, brother. We, we, we truly understand that you ain't mean no harm by that. We understand that. I'm asking you. I see all your wives looking the same. And I'm asking you, what is the purpose of them looking the same with their hair sticking up and all that? Like... And Tammy's. Oh, okay. This, this, this right here. These, these are called wick locks. Who? You know, wick locks are. You can Google it. Just Google it, man. It's called wick. They make you smarter, make you faster. Or, a lot or in what? Florida. Absolutely, they are gonna make you stronger. They are gonna amplify whoever you are. It ain't gonna make you. It's just gonna make you more of whoever you are. Then why you don't have? It? You understand what I'm saying to you? I do got. Them. I see all your wives, man. I see. I see all your wives, bro. They, you know, yeah. yeah. But hey, one one thing I can say, boy, you got them trained. When you say you got them trained, that's disrespectful. Now that's disrespectful. No, I'm not. not TK. See, you taking it the wrong way. I'm not saying that. You the one said that. Well, tell me, tell me, tell me how you, you said mean. that you, tell me how you mean. listen to what you I'm know. saying before you, before you jump over the, over the edge, you said that you brainwashed them, correct? So another word from brainwash is training, fact. correct? Now I ain't got to, hey, look, what's understood don't got to be explained. So that's what I'm saying. So when I said it, it wasn't no disrespect. TK, am I right? TK, am I right? I, 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 I have to disagree. I can't fight the book, bro. I, I can't fake the funk because you, if you say you got them trained and you, you call them robots, I don't know what's more, more disrespectful. No, 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 no. You understand? I said I need a, I need that. And you I said if you need that, you must be like insecure. This. Listen, but listen, listen. Well, <laughs> okay, this is the... I no, 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 it, it's just okay, a question. <laughs> it, hey, this, no, it, bro, it's just a question. We, I'm just picking back and off what you said. This ain't nothing that I've written up for you. I just pick it back off what you think. You see, you see, you said if I need that, I'm insecure. But I'm gonna tell you like this, nigga like me attract that whether they like it or not. You dig? But but you wouldn't understand. So from your perspective, you looking at me, you say, I'm insecure. But see, some men just attract a lot of women. That's just who they are. They kings, homie. Now can you agree with that, TK? Yes, indeed. Bro, uh, uh yes indeed. Now, now let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Some nigga lame. Nigga, they just got women, get the fuck away from me on. You know what I'm saying? That, that's just how they are. It's some niggas that, that no matter where you put them, they just gonna attract a lot of women. I always, no matter where I was at in life, had a lot of women. It don't matter, that's just me. I couldn't help it, I try to be faithful. A bunch of women just come up on me. I tried when I was in myself, and I failed. Because some niggas just attract a lot of women. It's just who they are. That's some, you know, it's different kind of men in this world. Now, T, am I right? But what they got to do with you having your women trained? You, I mean, um, having your women um, am, am I, brainwashed. Hey, shit, don't worry about what I got my woman to do. Okay. You, you, shit, you feel me? You're, That's like me coming. That like me coming to your coach saying, "Oh, you got them trained real well." You got them trained real well with the white man ain't you to play basketball. Play well, ball, if, if my coach said I'm brainwashed, then yes, you can use the word trained, brother. Of course. Hey, hey, let me just let me let me, let me, let me just keep it up. So I, I don't want to get to where it's like it's, it's one on you know. Let's, yeah, let's exactly. Keep, man, keep it going. real, TK. Yeah, keep keep it real. It's some we, niggas we, out here we, we, that just attract a lot of women. That's just how they are. Yeah, yeah I, I, I I agree with that, bro. TK. TK. Let, 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 let me say this real quick, TK. Uh, Baba G, I, I hear you. I understand what you're saying. But Baba G, one thing I can assure you, bro. <laughs> if I was in that type of lifestyle, the number of wives that you holding right down on your on your your ten your five fingers right here, one, I mean five and ten, I would actually triple that. Times that. Times Shit. that. Shit. 
Shit, if you uh, look, this ain't not saying nothing. If for a while, or, I'm, or I'm just saying, how, brother. Nigga, if you was that's who you were. If if you was a king, it wouldn't matter if you tried to be with one woman, it wouldn't work because it ain't what you meant. Now that's to do. a good question. Am I right or wrong? TK? That's a good question. Now TK, now TK, speak up for what's right. TKO, TK. come on. Now. What does the word king TKO, means go to ahead, you? Tell the truth. Tell the truth now. Don't front for these people, man. Keep it now, real. Oh, oh, nigga, you you ask me two different questions at the same time. But look, no, I so, asked you a simple question over and over. And you over and over and over and over. Go ahead, go ahead. What was the question? I asked you a simple question, brother. I just what, asked you simply. If a nigga was a real king, he couldn't be with just one woman because the because the woman wouldn't stay off of him. And it'd be hard for him. I'm just, it's certain niggas out here that just attract a lot of women. That's just who they are. Well, well. Well, well, see, you know, a king, a, a king can be monogamous if he oh, wants to. A king does what he wants. No, no, no. Listen, no, I'm not. Look, I'm not babble. I'm not doing yeah. absolutely correct. Political. You're this being is my political, perspective, man. brother. Hold on, I respect. I respect your perspective. So respect my perspective. My perspective is this: a king doesn't have to want the same things that I want. I desire multiple women. That's me. It's not what you desire. It's who you are. Okay. Okay. So check this out. Check this out. But you just not ask me. There's a. Man, that's not what you desire. It's who you are. Even if tried to be something that you wasn't, it would right. work for you. All right. So let me ask you this then. Let me ask you this as we asking each other question right now. Let me ask you this, man. You said, uh, I, I know there's one thing. I, man, I listen to your words, everything that you be saying. And I know that you said that uh, in one breath, when we play this back, you said you don't know who you are. You, you had said that when we was talking earlier and they were talking about the transsexuals and stuff like that, it was, you said you don't know who you are. So if you don't know who you are, why would you want people to follow you if you don't even know who you are? How are you going to show them who they are if you don't know who you are? Bro, I said, I told you, I, I clearly said I'm God. No, I, I heard you, you. You use that to go. You use that to 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 come to a point. But I no. clearly said over and over who I am. No, I listen. Just told you who you was, brother. Let, now, let, me, ahead, give the, let, let me give you the. Let me give you the. Because I'm not here. I'm not here. Terrible question. Yeah. Shut I'm not down. Combination, shut it down. First, first it's, it's love, brother. Like I said, it ain't no dick, dick swinging match or nothing like that, bro. I wouldn't. This is a this is a neutral. No, but you asked me, that, man. I, 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 haven't, I, I haven't, I haven't asked you no direct question this whole time. But since you asked me a direct question, I asked it because that was in the back of my mind. I'm like, okay, you know, it was my first time ever hearing you say that. You know, I didn't know who I was. So if that's like a contradictory, you know, and I'm just trying to understand. I'm not trying to bash. You. I'm trying. No, to no, no, no. I was saying that in concept. Like, I would have never now thought that Bubba Pisces RG game. would be in this finish, Now you playing the Pisces game, bro. Bro, you playing the Pisces yeah. game now. Right. Now you want to me. play mind game, but you, you fucking with a mastermind, TK. You can't use one thing I said against the other. Now I'm not I using. Hey, listen, of, hold on, hold on, brother, hold on, brother. I'm not using either or. Hold on, I'm not using your body. Listen, I'm not using this thing to alive. Are you saying you don't know me, bro? I'm trying to get an understanding, guys. He, now, hold on, he hold just pick it back off what you said, said Baba said it in He just pick it back off what you said. said. I said it in context. But you didn't say that you said, said it in context. context. Y'all could be crazy all you want. Y'all could, yeah. y'all, I just said it in context because your chat was saying I was everything and all, all these things. And I said, well, shit, everything. I'm whatever you think I am. You nigga, I was saying it in context. Now you're going to use that and try to twist it. No. it to Listen, say that you I don't tell you in your feelings right now. Baba IG, I would have never thought on, that man. you would be in Come your on, feelings man. right you know now, man. Is, man. All right, we don't, we don't go to the... Hey, I'm not in my feelings. I just want to understand it, I promise you I'm not in my feelings. We having fun. Yeah. We having fun. He's got it. It's all love. All is well. All is All love. All love, bro. I'm from New York. Yeah, I'm from the south side of the T-Town. Yeah, it's all love. Already, it's it's slick hate though. It's <laughs> slick, but it's slick hate. Slick hate. <laughs> now it's you know what? If it would been love, slick, it's if it had been slick hate, hate you know I would have asked you this question. I'm a real nigga, homie. I'm a real nigga. I know what it if is. If it had been slick hate, I would have asked it's you this all, question. But it's slick hate. I would have said I seen a video, which you said it's okay for you to be around your kids naked, and while your Dude, kid, while you having sex. <laughs> now that would have been slick hate. Yeah, man. I knew it was coming. I knew bro, you. I wasn't even gonna ask was that question. I, I just want to hear your perspective devil. now. I knew you wasn't. Bro, I wasn't gonna ask barrel. that question. Look, now. bro, look. These are all my questions. I wasn't gonna ask that question, bro. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know who you are now. Bro, I wasn't gonna ask you that question. This nigga, this nigga here. No, 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 bro. Use a hey, listen, bro. 
And if you listen on. to what I got to say real quick, bro, that's something that America people really need to know. Because if your perspective is different, maybe you could... America... No, America real shit. Really need to know. I listen. I ain't... I owe you no explanation of what I said and what I do, bro. You feel me? Bro, but... I don't, uh, hey, yo, you sucker for even saying that. You was a sucker. You a oh, sucker, if bro. I'm a, for even if saying if that I'm a shit, sucker from sucker. saying that, then what do that make you from saying that on live yeah. stream? That, that, that's... Hey, look. That's for you to figure out. That's for me and you to figure out. So therefore, I'm asking that you to clear up. that up. I'm asking you to clear that up, bro. Straight up, straight up, because we supposed to be on here. It's supposed to it be is, love. bro. TK, this, this it is love. It's what you do, bro. Listen, hey, hold on, bro. man. You gotta, you gotta stop sucker, with the bro. emotionalism now. Sucker, bro. At this, at this. You affiliate yourself with a nigga, nigga. Sucker, bro. You said what? Sucker, man. Bro, it is love. I asked you a question. This man a sucker, man. You affiliate yourself with this man. He a sucker, bro. No. So sucker, I'm a sucker bro. from asking yeah, you a real question that a lot of people would like to know. You don't ask no man no shit like that, bro. I'm good, bro. That shit been years ago, bro. bro. You bringing up but shit it was that it was something that you bro. said, correct? It was something that you said, man. You was a sucker, man. Then if I'm a sucker, that sucker. Means, that make you a fake, I'm sitting then, up bro. Here. I'm sitting up. That make you a fake. I'm sitting up if here. If you can't funny, stand you on something bro. that you said, you if you can't about, stand bro. on something that you said, then that make you a fake. What you gotta say? That make you a fake, correct? That make your wise really than you. I said a lot. That make your wise really than you. What you saying, nigga? What you saying, nigga? Right, so, what, so what was the next question? So we, we, we can keep you back on boat. What's up? Yeah, crab in the bu bu bucket ass, nigga. Trying to bring me down to come bro. up, nigga. You crab in the bucket Bro, I'm ass. already up, bro. I don't need to leave you, use you as a ladder, my nigga. At all. You ain't up, you ain't up on nothing. Me using you as a ladder, you nothing, me using you as a ladder, it's like, like me going outside, coon. stepping on sand. You a coon, bro. You a real life coon. You a coon, bro. So the next you question, brother, front of a real where man. do you see and yourself you know, five years from now? And you a coon, bro. You a coon. Where man. do you see yourself five years you a coon, from now, man? Baba, Baba RG. Hey, I, I see. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm in the now, nigga. That's all that exists. Bro, I see you what real you sensitive right now, brother. Fuck this nigga. Fuck, it was just a man. question, and you got I ain't sensitive. sensitive. You said because oh. at the end of the day, you okay. Got, you and I tell you what, brother. I tell you what. Can can T K O answer that question? What he see himself five years from now, or you can get out your feelings. Um, lean back, lean back hey, into man, your wife. It don't matter to me, man. your wife can calm your emotions down real quick, and let T K answer hey, that hey, question. Hey, Bro, I don't know what to say about. Don't play with me. It's with the last bitch. question, bro. Can TKO answer the last question, bro? What you see? Hey, don't play with me. Now. Play with your bitch. Can, can you have that much respect? Play with your bitch. <laughs> Yeah. So TKO, where you see yourself five years from now? Yeah, you can mute that. You can mute. Where you see yourself at five years from now? Um. Okay. Well, the vision is really big. Uh, where I would want to be, where I hope to be, where I what I would want to manifest in my life by five years from now, I would want it to be. Uh, you know, owning, having my own brand, owning my own businesses, making sure everyone with within my empire. Owning their own brand, having businesses, uh, making sure that I'm on a higher platform so I can reach and teach people, making sure that uh, my family is taking care of my mother, my sisters, and more people, making sure that I'm in a position to help people all across the world. To uh, uh, I want to become a wealthy philanthropist. You know, that's my main goal. Making sure that I'm very successful in the music industry. Uh, music is my first love and my passion. I love music. Um, making sure that um, you know my, my acting career. You know, you know, I'm, I'm, in, I'm also an aspiring actor. So. Um, I got a lot of things on my table. I can, I can, I can cut, like really continue to go, man. I got a lot of things on my table that I'm really working on. So this is a very successful man. Honestly, this is a successful man in everything that I, you know, I'm trying to do with my life. Uh, well, brother, you know, to wrap this up, one thing I can tell you is just like this. And like I told, like I told Baba G, that's not my lifestyle that you're living, but you're living your truth. Yeah, I'm muted, my mic. And, and I res yeah, I'm muted, my and mic. I respect that. Mm -hmm. I respect that. that I respect that y'all living y'all truth. So therefore, if a man that living in hey TK man, that nigga a sucker man. You fucking with a sucker man. He a sucker. Bro. I'm gonna tell him to his face. You a sucker. TK, you fucking with a sucker nigga. All right, so bro, if, if 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 I'm a sucker, sucker nigga, then what in the fuck are you? You a fucking sucker nigga. 
Use a so, nigga. First of all, you say you got you, to, you, 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 you say you got your wise brainwashed, correct? SpongeBob, this nigga is a SpongeBob. Uh, bro, you okay? you you on the he right platform right now. He a SpongeBob. This nigga ain't from the hood, bro. This nigga's not from the hood, bro. And we would this say that your clear, ass don't bro. have no values or morals at all. This nigga's a geek. This nigga's a real live geek. This nigga's a square. This nigga's a sponge. Keep going, bro. And, the hood, bro. and your ass is this not Indian hood, with that bro. Indian hat on your head either. But I ain't never, I ain't never tell you to take that shit off, right? Hey, look. Hey, look. You quite uh, 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 what? Like I said, TK. Hey, it's all good though, bro. Bro, it is you, man. You, I ask you, you one this. simple question. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. The reason, why, the, reason why, the reason why I felt like this would be a good platform was so we can come up and we can enlighten our people. You know, I do kind of hear some egos involved, and we gotta continue to do the message. We can't, we can't, we can't lose the, we can't lose what we're trying to do. You gotta respect the people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen this to this what I'm saying. Why you over here playing? What's the name? Hey, bro, you gotta give me the same respect I give you. You know, um, what I'm, what I'm saying is this. You know, oh, when, you people to hear your ah. when you want people to hear your perspective, then you want them to know your truth, whether they respect it or not. You want them to know your, your truth. That's your truth, right? The same thing with me, the same thing with Stefan. So at the end of the day, bro, everybody ain't got to agree with you. And if they all agree with you, you can't allow your ego to feel some type of way. That's not me trying to, you know, sharpen you out. You know, hey, it is what it, it is. is, what it is. Like all hey, I'm wait, saying wait, is this. Talk to that nigga. Talk to that nigga. Talk to that nigga. Talk to that nigga. TK, man, these it's real niggas watching you right now, bro. It's real niggas in the oh, world watching, watching you and right the now, bro. Too. And the sucker is too. You it's see what I'm saying? Niggas watching you right fact, now, it's, 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 a, it's a lot of fucking niggas, niggas, niggas trying to mimic this motherfucking life. They take this nigga a fraud. This nigga a fraud. No, no. The, 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 hold on, TK. Hold niggas on. The reason why right? I know no, that you fake, sucker. bro, because a real sucker. niggas ain't nothing but a state of mind right now. TK, real niggas in the world watching you. You acting just like a fucking coon. Listen, That's what you acting fuck like. These women out you here, acting fuck like a, a real coon shit. right now, this bro. This nigga's a hoe, nigga. This nigga's a fuck. I nigga, asked you one simple real, question. Man. You couldn't this ask that. Fuck, so nigga, obviously, man. you on, must man. be embarrassed of the shit that you said and that you allowed happen. We know what you are, man. I ain't even listening I know to you, you not, no more, bro. I, I know you not. Man. Come on, man. I know you not. You know the difference between you and TK? TK, you want to say this shit. You know the difference between you and TK? You and TK got respect for his women. You gotta worry that we're not we're not we not letting or allowing. I can't change. I can't control another man. man. I can't control another man. At the end of the day, we gotta get out there. That sounded kind of like you right. You right. That's your platform, nigga. You can stop. You can check this nigga, man. Tell the clown that. We stand on our own. Fuck down, bro. Right. We stand on our own. But at the end of the day, look. Check this out. We not man. And we was and we was in front of the drama. Whoa, hold on, TK. Hold on, TK. Different story, bro. This nigga's a square. Okay, hold on, TK. This nigga right here. If you was in front of me, you would do what? For real. You know it. If we was in front, you'd be a problem, nigga. If you was in front It'd of me, you would problem, do what? Nigga. Please enlighten me, bro. You gotta enlighten me on something that someone never did. You's a fuck, nigga, bro. Bro, all right, man. A fuck, so nigga, the question bro. that I ask you is a fuck, nigga, question because I asked you something that you there, said. Bro. TK, man, niggas is watching you in the streets, bro. Already. Stop affiliating yourself with this here, man. No, what he needs to stop niggas, doing niggas is affiliating himself with you. For real, man. He needs to stop real, affiliating himself with man. you. We don't give a fuck about your own ass. That's what we going to do. This is what we going to do. Um, we going to really This nigga is goof. I'm going to shut this down because there ain't no growth. You're goof, goof, nigga. You a goof. You put something right. in, in the universe rather than yeah. whatever, whatever perspective. So we can't get away from the and the vision that what we do. You're a goofy nigga. You know? Exactly. I'm exactly. so straight, square, Bob ass. You know? You know? Hey. Hey, uh, Bubba IG, it's it, it, it's still love, nigga. bro. You know, so this is what we doing, do. nigga, man. I'm, it's love. I just want you to know you a bitch, bro. Then you the I first, you, you the first bitch. person to ever tell me that, bro. I accept I that from a, know, hey, a, from a hey, from a character like you, from a character like you, yeah.